just spectacular. Okay, everybody, you know, it's time to get together and go through the collection again. It's been such a long time and so many changes have occurred in my collection. Lots of new entrants, lots of new dial ideas, lots of new concepts from manufacturers, fantastic new brands have emerged on the market, new independence. Let's go through all of it. So I'm on the road and I like to travel with between 17 and 20 pieces. Now that's not easy to do. You have to arrange security, all that stuff. But these days, I'm going double wristed. Why am I doing that? Because of the confusion in time zones. This is New York, this is LA. And people say, well, why don't you just subtract three hours? What, why do that when you could put two watches on? What are you kidding? Oh, look, LA, it's quarter to three. Oh, New York, it's quarter to six. Oh, what a great idea. Plus you're showcasing your pieces, that's fantastic. That's the whole idea. So. Let's go through the collection, some new concepts here. First of all, I'm gonna go randomly through here just as I feel um, some new ideas. Before we end today, I have to tell you about a new project I've got. One of the biggest challenges I have is how do I insure these watches? These are traveling with me. A dozen here and two here, right? 14 watches. But I only want to insure them while they're on the road. They're gonna be on the road for 10 days. That's why I created wondercare.com. Check it out. It's gonna light up in January, but you can go to Wondercare right now and register. It will allow you to take a photograph of your watch with your phone and insure it. It'll cost about one and a half percent of either the replacement value or the purchase price. You decide what you want to insure and for how long you want to insure it. You just want to insure it for a day, no problem. You want to insure it for a week, no problem. I love that. It finally solves for me. I created wondercare.com to solve for my collection as it travels all around the world. Now this starts in the US only. Check out wondercare.com. I mean, thank goodness for Wondercare because now I can insure just what I want to. I don't want to insure watches that are sitting in a vault under a bank, but this, every one of these are insured while they're on the road. Wondercare.com, I said it again, shameless promotion. Check it out. The first trend that has really emerged, because I'm in LA right now, but just got in from Miami, you know, go to Vegas quite often, New York. I would say even just five years ago, you would not see a lot of men wearing a lot of bling. That's all changed. If you look at the new pieces, like take Rolex, for example, take even Patek Philippe, anybody, they're blinging it out. And why is that? Because guys like to be flashy and they like to be trashy. And that's where you go with an eye of the tiger. Ichi wawa caramba. It doesn't get any flashier or trashier. You can't even read the time on this. You need sunglasses. There's so many diamonds on this thing, but it is beautiful and it's so well crafted. I mean, the work that Rolex does with jewelers and of course the timepieces are amazing. And as always, the red band. This is my Shark Tank box right here. Practically everything has a red band on it with the exception of two pieces we'll talk about. So, I the tiger, Ichiwawa Karamba. Now, when I go double fisted with this watch, I match it up with the LA time, oh yeah, baby, <laughs> the rainbow. Now, why is the rainbow? You know, 10 years ago, you could walk into a Rolex dealer and buy one of these. Forget about it now, not a chance, not a chance. The waiting list for this is years because all the guys in sports, whether you're baseball or hockey or basketball, they gotta have one of these pieces. Now, this is a beautiful rose gold rainbow. And you know, the whole idea of the rainbow is a jewelry representing all the different colors of light. It's beautiful. Now, when you go eye the tiger on the left, New York time, and rainbow on the right with LA time, <laughs> I've seen grown men weep. I'm not kidding. Grown men weep in the presence of these two watches together. It's stereo, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Flashy, trashy, flashy, trashy, flashy, trashy. Totally LA, total Miami. And when the F1 hits in Vegas, yeah, baby. Now you can't be walking around the streets with these. Not today, security is just too nuts. And places like San Francisco, unfortunately they turned into war zones. I don't even wear a watch in San Francisco. I don't even go to San Francisco. They gotta fix that place. You can't even wear, you can't even walk there, let alone wear a watch. You'll be executed immediately. City is so poorly managed, but I don't want to get into politics on a watch YouTube. Come on. All right, but before we leave the whole idea of pave, you remember Patek Philippe, so conservative. And then they come out with the loose. <laughs> this is their version of a rainbow. 
It's just beautiful. And by the way, that red band, that red band, that's factory, which means they made it for Mr. Wonderful. Why else would they send to North America a red band, Patek? It's Mr. Wonderful for sure. Now, when I saw the rumor of this watch, I immediately started making calls saying, if there anybody has waited forever for a factory red band on a Patek Philippe, it's gotta be me. And there you have it. Now, the reason I bring that up is let's take a classic. This is the 5711 Patek. Genta design, steel, thin, now legendary. Why they stopped making it? Another watch grown men weep for. The blue dial so historic, the clean look of 5711. There's also a version of this that Tiffany puts a stamp on that sells for millions. It's the same watch though, it's the 5711. Now, you cannot put a red band on this, so I never wear it on Shark Tank, I never wear it on TV, but I do put it on my right hand for LA time. And it's a beautiful piece, a 5711. You can recognize it 20 yards away in a room. When I see a 5711, I nod my head to the person who's wearing it. Lots of women like the 5711 too, but a great travel piece, a wonderful watch, a beautiful gentle design, just love it. And of course, you know, never gonna have a red band on it. Let's move on. The video that I first showed this piece in, where I start to cry, that was real. Those were not crocodile tears. This is a one of a kind AP, open works. Yep, a royal oak covered in rubies with a red band. The only one in the world with a red band. You know why? This is a Shark Tank piece. Now, I don't wear this out ever, really. I just use it on Shark Tank, but my goodness, it is so beautiful, this piece. So stunning, so spectacular. What a dial. You know, I almost want to cry right now again. That's, that's the problem with this thing. It's so, you know, th this whole idea of, of, think about open dials and open works and skeleton watches. This is a new phenomenon. This is not, you, you didn't find a lot of this 50 years ago. People, when they first saw them said, that looks weird, what's the matter with that watch? But now you can see the beauty of the actual maker's work. And I think that's what make, makes a watch like this so spectacular. So screw down crown, and just watching the movement itself. And of course, this is a custom red minute sweep. You'll never see that in AP. You see it here, beautiful. All right, where else, where do we go next? Oh, something I'm wearing on my wrist. Three weeks ago, I was in Tokyo. Now, I don't know if you've heard about Grand Seiko. They make some of the best watches on earth and certainly the best value. If you're starting your collection and you want incredible technology, incredible accuracy, beauty in terms of the polish of the metal, you gotta go with Grand Seiko. But there's a brand, it's part of the group. It's called Credor. Now, why is Credor so famous? This is a platinum polished Credor, a blue dial. Now, the reason Credor has made collectors just drool for their pieces, and they make so few of them, is the hand-painted enamel. The Japanese masters who do this. In the case of this blue dial, when you see the close-up of this, you're gonna see the edge looks luminescent. But it's not a luminescent watch. There's no radioactive paint here. There's no back lighting. So what's going on? How did they do it? They started with a cream white enamel hand painted, just meticulously, it takes forever to do this. Then they started layering on the blue, but on the edges near where the actual, you know, the, the dial meets the case, they left a little less blue so that the white shone through. And that gives it that phenomenon of luminescence. You know, when I saw this in Tokyo three weeks ago, I said, I have to buy it. They said, I'm sorry, there's only one here. It's been put on reserve by a Japanese collector. So I immediately went out of my mind and said, look, let me buy the piece. I'm a collector, I already have a Credor. I was very fortunate. I called up Bryce, the head of the Grand Seiko in the United States, and luckily he was able to acquire one for me. Here it is. I've only had this watch a few days, but that's why I'm doing this video to show you some new pieces just spectacular. I mean, and I mean, I'm here in LA for actually Grand Seiko events, so I'm wearing that today. I'm doing a panel about dials. And while we're at it, 
This is a new dial. Now this is steel. And by the way, Grand Seiko does an amazing job polishing steel. They do an amazing job polishing steel. There's nobody like it. This is the sparkle that you see, again, with the, the only one with a red band. This is called the Katana. Limited edition, sold only in American boutiques. So if you're looking for a spectacular watch sub 10,000, this is it. And now that you've heard about it from me first, before they sell them all out, try and get one of these because you have never seen. And by the way, when you dial and you wind this thing, the crunch is, it's, it's, I won't say beyond Patek, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, and these are, these spring, this is so, these spring drives are so accurate, so accurate. It's incredible. This thing keeps time like your phone does, and it's a mechanical watch. Beautiful. All right. We've got six more. We're going into the land of Jorn. Now, FP Jorn is an independent. Um, it came rocking on the scene. The watches have gone up like crazy. Since we last met, this is my new Jorn. Again, it's always the dials that make it so interesting. When Jorn makes a watch, there's nothing like it. I mean, you can recognize this from across the room. That is a Jorn. This has a red band on it. It's my brand new piece in the collection. Beautiful. You know, it's so simple, yet clean. So recognizable as a Jorn. I knew you'd love it. Power reserve is almost as large as the actual minute hand. It's really a beautiful thing. All right. While we're talking, Jorn, this is number six of the New York Boutique Centigraph. What's unique about this piece? Well, first of all, it's one of 10. There'll never be more for the New York Boutique. And it also measures by the hundredth of a second, which is so incredible. When you think about a, a watch that can do that and how complex the technology is that does that. But this is what this watch does. And that's what's made it so famous. Absolutely stunning. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, you know, another amazing dial and also great for the road. Okay, an all time classic, and we're gonna go two in a row. Steel White Face Daytona, probably the most sought after watch in the world. This one has a red band on it because I wore it on Shark Tank season 15. Beautiful, classic. I mean, there were years and years ago, you, this was a watch that Rolex couldn't give away. Now it's the most coveted design in Rolex all around the world. People love this piece. While we're talking about it, they brought out a series they've discontinued now called the Meteorite. I did this one in gold. But look at that. This dial is actually a shaved piece of Meteorite. So it came from the planet Rolex, fell to Earth, and Rolex shaved these dials until they ran out of Meteorite. We're gonna have to wait for another rock to come from the planet Rolex to do these again. Also beautiful. But you know, thinking about left wrist, right wrist, stereo Daytona, <laughs> that's an Ichiwaba caramba. Yin and yang, New York, LA. You get it. Double red bands on this one. Two unique pieces, but both Rolex Daytonas. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, just a couple left. Back to Journe on the Chronometre Bleu. Now this was their entry level watch, or one of them, okay? You'll wait years for one of these now. Why? Because there's a rumor that Putin wears it. These dials, this tantalum is the case, is the metal, but the blue dial is so difficult to make that 66% are rejected. So that's why it's so hard to get one of these. You know, Jern's a perfectionist. Now a little story about this piece. I mean, I love it because it's so simple, so beautiful, and it reflects differently in different elements of light. Now, I said entry level for Jorn, but the actual original entry level was the Elegant. This is a quartz watch. What's unique about it is you never have to change the battery in your whole life because it has a mode that goes to sleep. You put it down on the table, 20 minutes later, it's using tiny, just a couple of microns of electricity. Remember the time, you could leave it for a year and pick it up and it goes back to where it left off. Keeps perfect time. It's an amazing piece. Now, this is a quartz watch, so I said to F.P. Jordan and to Pierre, the CEO of the Americas, why don't, you've got demand for 20, 30, 40,000 of these watches. It used to be a $17,000 watch, it's way more than that now. But why don't you mass produce this to let people get at least one Jordan in their collection because they can't even get this anymore. The waiting list is two years or even longer. 
And I expressed that in a serious conversation with FP himself. And he looked at me and said, no. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the thing about FP Jordan. He's running the show and he just says no. So these things are just as rare as every other Jordan. One of my favorite watches, by the way. I just love the design. I love the look of it. It's just so beautiful. And my wife has one with Pave Diamonds. She, she calls it her favorite watch now. Just absolutely beautiful. The Elegant. And last on the hip parade, you probably noticed that on my LA time right here. Are you ready? One of my latest acquisitions. This is an Ichiwawa moment. Mr. Wonderful here, and there's no debate about this. Small businesses in America create over 60% of the jobs, but times are tough. Is there a solution? Yes, the Government Employee Retention Credit Program. Go to wondertrust.com today. Is that a puzzle? Yes, it is. The Rolex puzzle. There's only three of them known in North America right now. Here's the story, all right? Now, first of all, when I heard about this watch and I saw the videos, I thought it was AIBS. I thought it was some kind of April Fool's joke. Rolex would never make a watch like this with no day on it, no date, and just emojis and little sayings like peace and harmony. No way they would do that. That's not Rolex, they're too conservative. When I heard this was real, I went out of my mind, like every other collector did all around the world. Everybody wants a puzzle. So, the rumor for North America's, yep, John Mayer got the white gold, all right? Brady, the famous quarterback. Now, Mayer's a musician. Brady is, of course, world famous quarterback. He's got the rose gold and this is the yellow gold. Rolex is brilliant. They gave one to an entrepreneur investor, that's me, sports guy who's got millions of followers, mayor has got millions of followers. We all have millions of followers and we're having fun on social media with this. This is bringing in the new generation of fun loving Rolex collectors. I think that was what they're thinking about. Watching Wonders last year, this thing got announced. The world's gone crazy for this. They'll make more, but who knows when and where they're gonna show up. The demand in Asia is insatiable. Now, I would not put a red band on this, obviously, because the presidential bracelet is so beautiful. And it is my LA watch today. So on the left, the Creed or amazing blue dial. On the right, the puzzle. <laughs> Let's check the time. Oh, it's two minutes after six in New York. I wonder what time it is in LA. Oh, it's two minutes after three. Thank goodness I've got a Credor and the puzzle from Rolex. Now, if I have to worry about the time in Abu Dhabi, I'm gonna to have to put one on my left ankle, which I'm gonna do soon. This is how you get to four watches. You never get lost on time. That's the answer. I'm glad you joined me today. There's so much to talk about in watches, but this is just the basics. I will see you soon. Oh, my little baby's here. Just love it. Now these are going back into the vault. Now talk amongst yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye everybody.